Hello fellas, it's Bayan here. Thanks for supporting the channel. And in this uh, tutorial, I'm gonna show you how I made the little diorama, especially the water effects. And now let's get right into this. First things first, I need a good and solid base. In this case, I used some tree barks and plaster of Paris, uh, carved them into shape and uh, seal the bottom with some foil wrap. I'll be a little bold about colors. Uh, see that I use a lot of purple instead of gray or black in the shadows. Uh, once finished, will really brings out a nice color contrast. And then I sanded some wood stick and mixed the sawdust with PVA glue to simulate the volume of the moss and color it with acrylic afterwards. The fishes are made of polymer clay. I sculpted two of them and once baked in the oven, uh, it will become semi-transparent. And I use some uh, pearl acrylic color to paint it. Uh, when finished, it looks really shiny and will add a lot of life uh, to the scene. Before further steps, uh, it's crucial to wait until the base is completely dry because any unwanted moisture will affect the resin curing process. After measuring, I made a barrier uh, with a piece of thin acrylic sheet. Wrapped around the base and apply some hot glue uh, around the gaps and seals to prevent any resin leakage. You may apply as much as you want, um, just to be on the safe side. It's important to know how deep the resin will be, because every manufacturer's formula is kind of different. And if you pour deeper than what the instructions suggested, it may overheat and also result in trapped bubbles. In this case, it's no deeper than 2.5 centimeters. Stop the resin and hardener for a few minutes, and then measure the resin in a cup. Dye it with a tiny bit of a Tamiya transparent blue. After thorough mixing, I then measure the hardener and pour it in the resin and mix it for another two minutes. In this case, a resin and hardener ratio is two to one. I have about 40 minutes of working time, so inject the resin slowly and carefully near the barrier. This will minimize the chance of introducing unwanted bubbles, and if you do find any, just pick it out with a toothpick. And then cover the whole base with a piece of foil. It will not only keep the resin dust free, but also keep it warm. The epoxy resin curing process depends on it. After about 24 hours, the resin is fully cured. We can remove the barrier. Send down some unwanted resin and fix any imperfections in the base with putty and repaint the black part. Due to shrinkage, the edge needs to be cut down a little bit with a sharp knife. And then simply apply some transparent acrylic gel to simulate waves and ripples. In this case, I used clear water ripples from Woodland. Finally, we can put every other elements together. And now we have a nice little diorama. Hopefully you find something useful and enjoy the video, and I'll see you in the next one.